Howdy fellas, my name is Sir Dutchy, and let's take a look at Dead Effect 2. Backstory Dead Effect 2 was developed by Badfly Interactive. The game was originally created as a mobile game in 2015, but later got released as a PC title in February 2016. Story the story follows where the original left off. It is set on spaceship ESS Meridian after the death of Professor Wagner, the antagonist in the first game. Graphics Even though the game is being advertised as being a great looking game with slick graphics, personally I found the graphics to be rather underwhelming in this day and age. Character models look stiff and unnatural, animations vary greatly in quality and even the environments are rather uninspired and rough around the edges. The gun models on the other hand look reasonably well. Gameplay Dead Effect 2 is a game that's heavily inspired in name by Dead Space and Mass Effect, of course. Yet the gameplay itself seemed to be a mismatch of gameplay as seen in the Borderlands series as well as Destiny with its mission type gameplay paired with a collection of loot money and experience gathered throughout the completion of every mission. After finishing any mission, you will return to a hub-like area where you can talk to different NPCs which will in turn provide services such as the ability to level up, gain new skills, sell or buy new weapons and even augment your own abilities to increase your effectiveness in combat. Dead Effect 2's skill system allows the player to use different special powers such as the ability to slow time or set up a barrier that provides protection from bullets. The movement and gameplay itself feel rather unnatural and floaty at times, just stopping short of providing the player with a well-polished first-person shooter experience. Exactly as you'd expect from a port of a game that was initially developed for mobile games only. Dead Effect 2 also has a ton of different minigames incorporated into its gameplay that are very simple and mundane to undertake, creating breaks in the flow of gameplay that are not particularly fun and instead seem to be designed solely to waste your time and create artificial longevity. The voice acting featured in the game is so bad, you'd have expect the developers to have done this on purpose. Cheesy and cliched voice acting more often succeed in making you cringe and laugh at its quality rather than providing a narrative setting that pulls the player into its story. I have trouble breathing. What's going on? There's a problem with the oxygen pipes. They can't find us, so they're trying to flush us out. The soldiers? Probably. But they don't know that we can access the oxygen directly from the gardens. Dead Effect 2 also contains the possibility to invite a friend to play through the story mode in cooperative mode or fight each other in a deathmatch. And lastly, the music does a great job of creating a fitting ambience. The rest of the sound effects are rather uninspired, bordering on irritating and unfortunately even the gun sounds are bad with a definitive lack of punch and impact. Overall score. Fun loot based gameplay. Enticing the player with loot and experience makes the game consistently fun to play. Co-op multiplayer. Having the option to tackle the game on with a friend makes the overall experience playing Dead Effect 2 much more enjoyable. Bad story. The story fails to bring anything new to the table and does not captivate the player's attention very well. Unimpressive graphics. The graphics lack polish and creativity. Mediocre combat. The combat in Dead Effect 2 is far from perfect, lacking polish and general satisfaction when mowing down enemies. Tedious minigames. The in-game minigames are overdone and designed in such a way to remove enjoyment rather than add to it. Closing words. Dead Effect 2 is a very mediocre game. It's a fun concept for sure, but unfortunately it has not been realized well enough and results in a game that could have been much more, but instead ends up as a game that's fun for a little while, but quickly grows stale. Is it worth it? With the current base price being 20 euros, I'd say this game is simply only worth it if you are really interested in a loot based shooter. But if you aren't, don't bother with this game if you value your hard earned money. Thanks for watching, my name is Sir Dutchy. If you've enjoyed this video and wish to support me, please don't hesitate to comment, like, or even subscribe to help this channel grow. I wish you, as usual, a fantastic day.